Hey guys, what's up? It's a new dawn, it's a new day. <laughs> um, I know you're gonna be excited for this, but Brady and I finally hung up the decorations in the nursery and I wanted to show you. So first, right above the dresser, we finally have the mirror and the cute little animal, um, farm animal on the, farm animals on the fences. I got those at Hobby Lobby. I also got this mirror at Hobby Lobby. And then you've seen these before, but I finally did the garland, um, little pom-poms. I still need to, obviously you see there's extra string. I need to cut that, space them out a little bit more, but that's what we've done above the crib. We also moved the crib over a little bit so that it's a little bit more <laughs> centered on the pictures. And then we hung this little guy up. Um, we got this at Home Goods, <laughs> almost at Hobby Lobby. Got this at Home Goods. It actually matches the wood thing over there. Um, just hung up her little hair bows and got a couple of decorations. I got this artwork um, from Yellow Quakies, my friend's um, art shop. It's a little mommy holding the baby, um, part of her motherhood collection. So that is where we have hung that up. Um, and then you've seen that a million times and all of this stuff. So um, everything looks much much more put together <laughs> or it looks more put together now that we've got stuff hung up on the walls it's just a lot more exciting and um we're getting closer to her being here so next up we've got some baby showers uh can't wait to show you what we get from those um so so thankful for friends and family of course but um yeah that's kind of the update right now all right we're putting together the bassinet that we got at our baby shower. That's a big one. And what you will have to do, just put the legs on. Uh-huh. And you said it comes with a what? A case? Yeah. To take with us somewhere? Uh -huh. Does it just fold in half or something? Yeah, sometimes. My big finger was in the way. Oh my goodness, wow. It looks huge in my camera right now. That is a big bassinet. Climb in, see how it feels. Climb in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. Nice. So fun. <laughs> okay, so we, oh, hold on. putting the base for the car seat in our car and the mirror. The middle one? No. no, no come put it on this side. I wanted it to go in the middle. It's not going to fit over there. Yeah. And I want it to be over here. Ooh. I'll come over this side. This is so crazy. So it has this so that you can like lift it up and level it so that the car seat is level the whole time. Huh, Brady? Yep. You doing all right there? Thank goodness you know what you're doing, because I don't. I need to learn. I need to learn how to put the base in? Yeah. Why? In case somebody needs to take our car seat. Well, okay. And this is the mirror we got. It's got it at Target. <laughs> this is so crazy. It's already flat. It's already even. My battery's gonna die. 
Let's see, how does this work? Oh, I didn't even know the those things could lift up. Doesn't the middle one lift up? Yeah, but it's the shape of it. It's Figuring it out. <laughs> She's be taking up some of my leg room. She is. Unless, oh, there we go. Unless you drive everywhere. We're gonna have to move some of those things. Oh, there we go. Oh, I can see her. Well, I, well, she's not in there right now. <laughs> oh, so fun. All we need to do is give Christopher Robin this sled, and all the Christmas presents will be present. Look, there he is. Santa Claus, if that's really who you are. Always thought he'd be taller. But of course I'm Santa Claus. I have the hat, don't I? The he does, you know. And the boots? Hey guys, so I know this video is gonna be like super super jumbled um, I haven't really picked up the camera in a really long time and my husband asked me the other day You know, do you even vlog anymore? Like how come you haven't made videos or like do you even do that anymore? And, and I said, you know, I just don't really like ever since I became pregnant. I have had like zero energy for doing vlogs like I used to I guess um, I just prioritize my energy <laughs> into other things and for the last like six seven months it's been this baby um, and I feel bad because I didn't record I mean the last like real legit thing that wasn't baby related that I think I filmed was the Carrie Underwood concert which was way back in September it's Literally, we've got like nine days left of December, the year. <laughs> I didn't record anything for Halloween. I didn't record anything for Thanksgiving. I didn't record any of our baby showers. Um, I've just mostly recorded a bunch of baby stuff like gifts that we received, the blanket that I made, um, obviously the clip that I'm gonna throw in here about putting the car seat base in the car. Um, the bassinet just basically getting ready for the baby um i just haven't had the time and energy <laughs> to really film and 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 make the videos that i want to and i feel bad mostly because i really enjoy doing this i enjoy making the videos and i think it's fun i love going back through and watching them um and just you know seeing memories and stuff on video and not just pictures but um, I kind of wanted to, I don't know, necessarily wrap things up as far as like baby goes. Um, we are literally like 30 days away from her due date and I don't know that there will be anything else between now and then. And so I just kind of wanted to like wrap up all the baby stuff and maybe the next vlog will hopefully be the Christmas one. <laughs> I definitely am taking my camera down when we go visit family um, for Christmas and um, kind of like what I did last year. So I am going to do that, but then I'll have like three weeks until my due date and I'm just going to try really hard to take it easy and just focus on preparing for her to really come. So the vlog after that may be her first appearance, maybe not. Maybe it'll be three months after I have her, I have no idea. But I definitely miss making videos and I think my time off from work, I'll be able to make videos with her and of other things and my hobbies and stuff. 
So yeah, we set up our Christmas tree. I did not record it this year like I did last year, uh, mostly because this is the only Christmas decoration in our house right now. <laughs> I have these bins right here full of Christmas decorations and I have not taken a single one out of the bin. <laughs> I just do not have the energy to do that and I just wasn't feeling it. Plus when we set this up and took everything out, it was like, couple days before Thanksgiving, the week before Thanksgiving. So I didn't want to put out all of my Christmas decorations when it wasn't even really December. And here we are with nine days left in the month and this is the only decoration that we have. <laughs> um, I did add a few new ornaments. Like my mom gave me this one from when I was a baby. Um, let's see, we did get this one from the Relief Society activity at church. It's just like a really precious glass little manger. Um, hopefully you can see that. The young men and young women dropped this off for us, which is super nice. Um, I think those are really the only like, oh, and then this one. Most of these, this is a little dancer because I did dance growing up. Um, most of the ornaments on here are from Brady's childhood. I only have two up there from my childhood. My mom finally gave me some of mine. Um, and then just other random. We don't have very many gifts. These two are for Brady. And then these are our secret Santa gifts. We do like a um, secret Santa gift exchange thing between my siblings and we include spouses and stuff so it's kind of fun uh we've done that since i was pretty much a kid <laughs> um like secret santa for the siblings and now we just include the spouses and it's so much fun okay so one thing that i didn't want to wrap up by coming in here i know you've seen multiple clips of the nursery every time something new happens to it i recorded a video but this is going to be the final we have basically everything we need um the only thing that we don't have is the hospital bag ready to go <laughs> i mean i have all of the baby stuff ready to go in the hospital bag but i don't have any of my stuff and i am almost 36 weeks yep so i legit need to get on top of that <laughs> so i'll show you the nursery um as you you know this is this, and I've got just tons and tons of clothes in here. I labeled everything, not for myself, for my husband, so he knows not to just grab whatever. <laughs> oh my gosh, she has so many blankets. We might need to get a bigger basket, because um, I've now had to put some on the edge of the crib. Um, boppy diaper bag, I've got that packed a little bit. Got a little snowsuit thing to keep her warm. We did get a sheet. This is from Bye Bye Baby. It's a cute little cow print. It's like cream and brown, which totally matches the crib and the rocking chair. Um, and then you've seen that before. The blanket I made. Um, we've got Boppy Lounger, the chair. My grandma made that blanket. Seriously, it's amazing. And then we've got a little decorations. Some more down here. We got tons and tons of books um, at the showers and just hand-me-downs. These are like, someone got our baby doll, it's so cute. These are like her little toys. Some more books that I need to put up there. Just like boxes and stuff, I need to clean that off. And of course that, we've got the stroller. Um, ours didn't come with something like this. I mean, according to my husband, it kind of did this thing right here. Um, it's got some padding right there, but I just don't know that the hospital will be okay with that. So I bought one of these just to be safe. Um, if we do end up needing one and then she's just got a couple toys that I just put here to put there. We'll probably take them off. So we're getting super excited. Um, I did go through, so you've seen this before, um, all of her jackets and dresses and sweaters. 
I did go through all of her clothes. So this is 12 to 24 months. This is 9 to 12 months, I believe. And then this bad boy right here is 6 to 9 months. And those need to go inside there. But like I said, I just don't have the energy to do all these things. Um, but yeah, we're getting really excited. So that is final walkthrough of the nursery. These um, drapes, whatever they're called, are amazing. I got them on Amazon. I'll try to link them down below. $13 a piece, you only get one. So I had to buy two, which is fine because these can be really expensive. But they're blackout, even for the beige. These are blackout and they are perfect. Like we had them closed for a couple days just so we could see what it really looked like when we woke up in the morning if it was really black out in here or not. So we knew if we needed to return them or not. Um, I think I mentioned I got them on Amazon. Anyway, they are black out for sure and I'm really excited about that. So that's the nursery. We cannot wait for her to come, we're so excited. Um, we do have a few um, bath items. So we have this little bathtub thing and then this little basket was given to us by um, his sister-in-law and it's just got like towels, shampoos, um, bath stuff or just like medicine type stuff, I guess if we, we really need. And I was gonna show you my baby bump but the counter is kind of dirty. So let's see if I can move some things around <laughs> so this is my 35 week bump oh, she's really legit hanging out there um, I feel huge it wasn't really until like 34 33 weeks that I was like whoa she's she's hanging out so yep that's us <laughs> um, Anyway, I have been feeling pretty good. Um, I am starting to get uncomfortable though. My, um, my body is aching and I think, oh, sorry, it's dark in here for a minute. Um, I have been aching a lot more and um, like my body just, hurts at the end of the day and I can tell she's getting lower um, and she is moving like crazy she really likes to sorry that lighting is terrible she really likes to move at night when it's time for bed <laughs> oh it's been a lot of fun um, but other than that she's doing good um, I see my new doctor next Friday, so not this week, but next week, um, which is really exciting because it's a 10 minute drive into town instead of an hour and a half, you know? So, <sighs> um, <clears throat> just <clears throat> other life updates. Um, I finished my reading goal for this year. I read 50 books, well, 52 but my goal was 50 um i don't know if i'm gonna set a goal for next year because i'll have a newborn baby but i'm still gonna try to read because i've got a bookshelf over there full of books that have not been touched yet <laughs> um <clears throat> uh, but brady's doing really good just working and just getting really anxious to meet our little baby you know I am too um we're so so excited and like I said I feel like we're ready like we've got everything we might need but um who knows she might come and there might be a couple more things that we need that we don't have right now <laughs> I'm sure that will happen and that's fine uh, you can't really totally be prepared um but yeah and then like I said we're going down to visit family this week for Christmas. It'll be our last visit um, before she comes. And then, I don't know when we'll be down again to see everyone. We'll have to figure that out, but 
um, just thought I would kind of collectively like close up the baby vlogs like the preparation for baby and uh, hopefully I can get into this more but I'm not gonna you know make any promises or anything like that but I do miss vlogging I think it's a lot of fun and yeah I will hopefully see you guys in my next video bye